destroyed FaZe Clan last time they played. I think a lot of people are expecting FaZe to maybe not be so surprised in uh, in today, in this game, and, you know, know what they're up against. But even so, like, the games weren't close. Big were leading by a huge margin. And FaZe only got 14 rounds in, in, in an entire best of three. So, yeah, there's a real world where Big can do this once again. FaZe need to have their wits about them. Nico's got his deadly little deeg out here towards outside and he already popped off in the pistol securing a double over here outside so let's see if he can do it again armed with the deeg. Keto actually gonna make quick work of him there and now this is outside control gained for FaZe or for Big rather. FaZe is gonna start to rotate players down into this B bomb site. But while this has all been going on, sneaky little Searson, he's set up down here in hell. And I love this. He hears the footsteps of FaZe moving back up the ramp. So he just bides his time. He's going to take down one man. And while BMAS does get the trade, it's still a two on four for FaZe. A very unlikely win here. BMAS is going to try and hold it down from the ramp side. He has Cold Zera rotating on through. But it might just have to be the save here from FaZe. They know this round is already a little too far gone to want to turn it around in and this scout combined with the uh, the deegs and the mac 10 and, and such is, is kind of like a worthwhile save for phase they can drop those deagles over you know bmas and cold they can be armed with the weaponry in this round and they still have a fighting chance yeah it couldn't have been much better for big right you know seriously he plays that well in tucking and waiting for the kills but the, the more important thing is that he hears the info right he hears two players from phase going from ramp back up to a and he gives that info to his team and they just commit to be off the back of his kill so they knew that uh, b was going to be empty and phase having to save no one going for the bomb tabs and make sure of it big they're going to find a second leading nice and early on the first map of this series their pick as well they're able to take a 16 to 9 victory on this map last time they beat FaZe. It was a dominant T side that got them there. Eight rounds in the first half, and then uh, FaZe were only able to get two T side rounds in the second. So, lots of question marks for this series, really, especially with Mirage replacing Inferno in the map pool for this one. Obviously, a great map for FaZe. We've been seeing them take a lot of teams down on. They beat Na'Vi on it yesterday. They knocked them out of the tournament in a 2 0 as well. So FaZe, they're out for blood. Don't think Big are coming in here as the only ones with something to prove. Oh, that's a nice shot from Nico. About time. Yes! <laughs> he's going to follow it up with a second. And Nico, well, he's made this round feel doable for FaZe. He's secured himself a little double kill there with the Deagle. And now Brokey's going to take the reins outside while Nico rotates into ramp. Brokey just watching it with the scout. And I like this. This is like minimizing the risk, right? Like Brokey can just try and chip these players down with the scout. Even if he doesn't deliver kills, he can deliver tags at a very, very safe distance and put this round even further in the advantage of phase. Rain's hiding close to your remain and Tabson's spamming him, but Rain's been able to survive it. He's just withstood the gunfire. So he's still a threat here in Maine. Big, they are wrapping back here into hell. But FaZe, you know, they should kind of be ready for this. They've given up outside. They know that this is a potential, uh, you know, area of the map that Big look, could look to contest. And it's something, you know, it's not like Big haven't ever tried to go hell. They've actually done it every round thus far in this game. So... Emas is ready. He's waiting for it. And if he even gets one here, that can be enough. He shuts down not one, but two. And this leaves it all onto Tabson. It was tagged up earlier on with the scout. Now 1v4, 30 points of health. Very little time here. And just tapping this bomb is a death sentence. Nico's going to come in with a third. And that's the round secured for FaZe. Yeah, FaZe knew exactly what was going on, Harry, right? Like, after Rain gets spammed, he knows they're wrapping hell. And so FaZe, they, they make a really good play. They get aggressive in the lobby. It helps that Nico has found earlier kills uh, inside of lobby and outside, right? Tizzy and dead at the back of door. So FaZe is pushing. They get the control. And if you have lobby, but you don't have outside as a CT side, you know you're being wrapped. You know you're being flanked. You know it's going you know, somewhere towards hell, heaven, ramp area. And FaZe, they just set up perfectly. BMAS with a double. And they convert an eco round nonetheless that's crazy face didn't even wait for rifles and now they've got loads of them with money left in the bank as well taps them fast but brokey's gonna hear it he will drop off volley ready brokey gets deleted no head armor and that's a big issue when you pull out the awp against taps and he's armed and dangerous and the danger is coming fast into that a site 
hold. It deals with the first man in. But Kito and Zuntares are both closing the gap. And Searson's going to best him straight up. So Bomb Plant now secured at a bare minimum here for Big. And FaZe, it's just Beamass and Nico. They might just be looking to save here. So this is an immediate response from the big boys. They'll find themselves this third. I gotta say, man, I love this big roster. Like, I, I do think it's it's probably the best iteration of big that we've seen yet. I remember, Hugo, we were at a pro league in season... I'm trying to think now. Would have been season 10, I think? Or maybe Forget season 9. But what yeah, point is, you know, one of these ones that's gone by the wayside. And I remember, you know, big back then, they had uh, Next and they also had uh, Smuya in the squad. And they were playing and uh, at the same event. There was Sprout who had Keto and Searson. And I remember, man, Keto and Searson were just popping off the Sprout. Like, they were wrecking. And afterwards, you know, you and me, we were kind of talking a bit about it. And we were like, so what do you think the odds are that they pick up Searson and Keto? Uh, and then, you know, lo and behold, a few months later, guess who joins the big squad? Searson <laughs> and Keto. And the moment that change happened, man, I don't know. I, I don't know about you, but I could just tell, like, this was going to be a deadly looking big squad. And then they really have delivered on that. Like, yeah. I think Searson is has just looked better and better as time's gone on, as he's gotten like more adjusted to being in the squad. I think as well, like Zintares, he was someone who was always going to give you good returns. Just It was it was just a question of time, right? Because you think about like what this guy is having to undertake, you know, up and moving from Turkey, now having to join this German squad, having to learn all these different languages to communicate in. And so, you know, I think he's also a prospect that only looks better as time goes on. Yeah, he's not bilingual, he's trilingual at this point. And, you know, Big's still coming in English, uh, despite, you know, being four, four Germans. Respect for that. I, I uh, did hear that Zantaris was picking up some Germans, so you know, it might be some changes in the future. But, yeah, regardless, Big in control of this game right now. But there is that buy from FaZe. The save of two guns allows this one. And this seems all too good to be true for Big. Why is outside so empty, they wonder? Well, it's because Nico's holding secret. He's not letting them get lower. No one's watching for a hell wrap, so there is danger here for FaZe. But Nico, oh, they're walking with a back turn. He's got a free kill. Can he follow up? No. Taps and gets it right back, and Big will run down towards B. FaZe have no low rotations. The rain has to come through the vent. That molly is great, but Searson runs through it and trades Taps and Hero play, picking the bomb back up. And Big, if they want, they can take that B site. It certainly feels like they want to. They're going to molly off ramp. This gives BMAS at the one point of entry for the time being here on the left side of ramp. And so Searson's likely just going to be homing in over towards here with that AWP the moment this smoke fades. He's down towards Decon and FaZe. They're going to set up with two of these players over at ramp. Brokey is beginning a very lengthy rotation in through the lobby. So he's arrived a little bit late to the scene. This has given a lot of time over to Big to get set up in this three on three post plot. Searson's trying to take an early fight here from Decon, but they flash, they smoke him off, and they nullify this AWP out of the game. They close the gap into the site. Tizian Ooh. and uh, Keto had this crossfire set up, and Tizian's going to continue to put up numbers. There's Searson to round it out at the very, very end, and big. They'll grab a fourth round. They go 4-1 up, and they break the money of phase, so they look to, to get off to an even better start than this, as unimaginable as that seems. Yeah. Not just explosive, right, in, in how they get down to B, right? Trading, running through Molotovs, killing Rain in the vent. But I love the post plant for Big. They've clearly put a lot of time into, into working out how they want to deal with certain situations on this map. And yeah, just everyone's ready, right? They they split up, they have the perfect door crossfire, but Tizian opening the door as FaZe hit the site just doesn't get much better than that. And FaZe is going to get broken, not just morale-wise, but money as well. They're down to three apiece. Orp is looking for kills outside just to make matters worse for FaZe Clan, and it shouldn't be too much of a task for Big in this round. I think said, getting close to these pistols can be a danger, and there's one in the main smoke. Rain can come through at the drop of a hat, but Nico has been dropped. No hat for him, no head to wear it, and Keto's looking for a little bit more. Oh dear. It's getting dangerous, but <laughs> nice. Yeah, a little one tap, that'll get the job done. And now FaZe just a couple of deaths away from giving Big a 5 1 lead. Rain is this climbing is, to his this death. Is oh! Gross. oh. <laughs> They didn't. I think they, he they... spotted him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rain, Rain saw Tizian. I was going to say, like, this is really gross from Tizian as well. Because, yeah. you know, if you're Rain and you're going up that ladder, you're rubbing your hands. You're thinking, ha, 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 these idiots. They'll never know what hit them. Oh, Tizian. Oh, he misses Ooh. the timing. Rain does get up. 
and wins that fight. So three on four, AK retrieve. It, it's still like not an incredible amount to go off of for phase, but we, we've seen these rounds spiral out of control. So let's see if they can get anything done with this AK. The bomb is down on B. And while this is happening, Zantares is on a bit of a solo mission in towards this A site through heaven. And there's players in the vent. So big, they, they might look to come up into this A site based on the information that Zantares gets. And he doesn't get anything apart from a, a bullet from cold. And so that's the immediate decision from big. Yeah, the A site doesn't seem so cool. And so now they get into B. B mass is at ramp here. He spots them planting this bomb. Faze, they're definitely going to give this round a go, right? They're by in the next regardless they've got this down to a three on three and we've seen them turn these around before missed shot from searson and that's given them a moment but yeah the ak is already rotating out rain's actually gone up into heaven and retrieved Zantara's ak and to phase yeah now at this point right with two rifles coming out of the round they're just going to hold on to that Let's keep our eyes on BMAS on the CT side because he's going to have a very hard role with how infatuated Big are with this B bomb site in this game. Uh, yeah, BMAS on the ramp is, is going to have to toe the line in between getting appropriate information down towards that B bomb site while not over committing and playing for the retake with his team. We'll, we'll see how this goes, right? Because Faze setting up for these retakes towards the ramp room and coming down late B hasn't worked at all. You can tell by the scoreline. But yeah, let's let's you know give them the benefit of the doubt and give them some time. They haven't really had the economy in this game yet. Big have been all over it. So waiting for that money to build. It has now. Faze have the AWP as well on Brokey. And this could be a chance for Faze to get back in control. Right now, though, Big looking good. Looking like the team that we, uh, we expected here. The team that we hoped for. We were... Definitely hoping that that win versus phase wasn't a one trick. And they could do it again. They've had great results throughout this entire tournament, though, inside their group as well. Rain, oh, he's just the bait. Well, Nico's the bait, rather. Rain is the switch. He's going to turn it on from this red box. No one knows. Bigger waiting out the util. Now the smoke's faded. They need to check it, but Nico is drawing them in. He now has to hide. He's so low. Even a warband could end his life. And Rain is really holding his own. There's the flash to set him off. And he's going to go with it. Sees nothing. And Rain, he just hangs around for longer. Dear, oh dear. Big have got to be considering this at this point. And Rain is sneaking around the edge to get a kill. It's a whip spray. Tabson's going to find him back. And somehow, some way, Big win the advantage. to try and get past Brokey and Keto does not survive the journey. There's a big, like to say there's a gap in this wall of smokes is an understatement. There's just only one of the wall of smokes down towards outside. So that's not going to facilitate a cross for Zantares, but big aren't looking across. They sneak out Ooh. down through the door, down oh, the vent dear. now, very quiet here. You can't be too <laughs> loud because if you're too loud, FaZe will hear. Nico has supersonic hearing. And that's no the idea. last thing we want. Yeah, they don't because they're holding on to A, but they were watching it from the rafters. They never saw the door. And so the fact that Big get down into this B site was just completely unknown to FaZe. This might just be the save as well. Yeah. They'd be going into the B site blind effectively. And it just doesn't feel worth the risk, especially not with Nico already so low on HP. So this is going to be another save round for FaZe. In a four on four, this is really not what you wanted to see heading into this round from the FaZe Clan side. When you're anchoring A, it's so important to know whether that door is blown or closed or open or just a general situation when you move away from it, right? Like there's nothing wrong with Cold's position, but I imagine the door had been blown off by Big earlier in the round. And so therefore there was a problem with Cold's position or more so a problem with a lack of door control for FaZe. Not necessarily Cold's fault, but just no one there to fill the gap. And yeah, Big just walked down. Even though Tabson accidentally makes noise at the end, like FaZe, they probably hear that and go, ah, damn it, we've lost the round. Like, you know, they've been struggling setting up for these retakes, let alone getting caught off with a random bomb plant while they're holding A. They don't want to drop vents as to what could be below them and big. Well, they're above them right now in every way, shape, and form. 6-1 up in control of this T side. Molotov outside for Nico. He's got a gap to play with, but he doesn't want to commit with it. Door smoke coming down for his team. That should cover this position, but it's a big gap in there. Nico is up on the chopping block, and yikes. Tizian's going to take him down through a smoke, but yeah, there was a big gap there, and that was definitely the problem. Big gap. Big gap, yeah. Nice one, Hugo. Thanks, Harry. Nice one, man. By design. <laughs> a big gap. Oh, Tansman, he's going to put a big uh, bullet there into Brokey. And Keto gets a big frag over here outside. Oh, it's a big round by the looks of things right now, Hugo. 
Cold Boom. and Bebas left alive. And Look at tabs. They're not, they're not entirely unfazed by this one. Tizian holding on. He's going to grab this kill. Oh, Catches Cold, no. but actually... Cole with utility in hand is still just as deadly. He's doubled up. He's left in a 1v3 though. They've lost BMAS. That there is a kill going the way of Big. Cold Zera, 20 points of health, but the bomb is outside. And Big, they've got to go back and get it. So time starts to become a bit of a worry here for Big. Not big on time right now. Gosh, here we go. 25 oh. seconds now. I'm going to mute you, Harry. I'm going to mute you. Don't make me. Don't worry about it. I could censor it every time I say the word big. That's what I'll do. It's a dangerous one. Let's see. Keto with a big bomb plant here down towards the B-bomb site. <laughs> and Cole, it's going to be a little save. I've had enough. <laughs> oh, dear. And Faze probably has This is to. my resignation. Yep. <laughs> no, you're fired, Harry. Oh, you can't fire I mean, me. If I you quit. quit if, yeah, if they quit, <laughs> if you quit before they fire you, then it's far more dignified. Yeah, you know, what you do is you get fired, you beg for your job back, and then you quit, Harry. The ultimate power move. But right now, there's no power for phase. It seems like the lights are off in their house. Cold will escape. But big. They're the ones who are laughing all the way to the bank. 7 1 up in full control of this game. Is there any slowing down? Is there any stopping, right? We, like when we saw these guys play in the upper bracket earlier and, and Big did the same thing, it was an 8-7 T-side. Like that was good. But right now, 7-1, it has no indication this is going to be a close half and FaZe need something. FaZe need to come alive. None of the top 10 rated players at DH Masters EU are FaZe. Yeah, the top 10 has been has been kind of interesting, to be honest. Like we even talked about how like Simple and Electronic were uh, uh, near the bottom end. And then I say that and I kind of jinx it because and they come alive. So I was at the top, simple second, Mir and Electronic coming in third and fourth. We got some Danes to follow and Tabson sits at number seven. So the only player in the server right now in that spot and well earned. It does feel like Harry, I'm sure you can echo this point. It, it doesn't feel like the Tabson show anymore for Big, not to say that he's not performing, but I feel like, you know, Big are getting wins without requiring Tabson to go yeah. nuclear. And man, that's, that's, that's one of the things that's so sick about this Big squad, right? Like for the longest time, firepower was just flat out the problem, it felt like, right? Like they had tactical masterminds in this team. You had guys like God be at the helm, you know? And, and Tabson has undoubtedly taken a lot away from that in how he leads this squad. Um, but but yeah, it was kind of horrible. Like it felt like it was just the Tabson show or the no show for Big, and, and those were your options, you know. And now it's like Tabson isn't in a position where he needs to drop thirty kills a game, and that's not to say he's incapable of doing it. It's just that there's actually other people who are able to put up these big numbers alongside him. Bmas going to try and hold ramp, and he does have players coming his wow. way. He's not able to stand the test of time. And Zantares and Keto, they have overrun ramp big. They they've got five alive. It's two v five phase and even though they're always like finding one or two guys uh, after yeah. the after the site's fallen it it's ultimately meaningless you know like these saves are good it allows you to keep the pressure on but it, there hasn't really been much pressure for big you know like in a lot of these rounds they've been pretty damn clean you're making a lot of money you're eight one up you're just showing absolutely no signs of slowing down i would and... hate to play against this yeah <laughs> Yeah, I think a lot of people would share that sentiment, Hugo. Let's talk about how Tabson just worked outside right now. Big have been very good outside to phase. They haven't really been like fighting an AWP from Garage or looking for that immediate pick. They they run passive service, right? Think of, you know, players hiding in the back of Garage, Nico playing secret like in this round. Oh, Ray, nice stall. He might get his teammate to kill him instead. Broke, he's holding this angle. Uh, oh, he's holding a tight one. So they'll just let him live. That's probably a safe decision. You don't need, you don't care about Big's money at this point. You care about your own. Uh, yeah, here, this this death from Nico. Now, the reason Nico's caught off there is not his fault necessarily. Tabson runs red at the start of the round. He hides. He shows no control. He shows nothing. FaZe have given up outside because Nico's playing a timing round. Big throw to laid smokes, but 
to have some pushes before the smokes land. And so FaZe go, oh, smoke's outside. Nico thinks, oh, I have a timing. I can get up to secret now. But Tapson's already ahead of the smokes. You, they're trying to play with FaZe's timings. They're trying to play with FaZe getting in position there. It's a nice read from Tapson and the crew and Big. That's a really good way of getting a pick there. And then they just hit Ramp off the back of it, Harry. And BMAS gets chased down. He can't escape. Think about how Ramp players are so, supposed to be able to get that info and drop off with the pace that Big have been setting. That just doesn't allow it to happen for FaZe. This has been a masterclass on the T side and FaZe, no answers for it, no solutions. Brokey, he, this, yeah, look at FaZe, right? Of course, Brokey's holding outside. Nico is in secret, but he's got Brokey to tell him, okay, this time they are crossing for sure. It's not just smokes and well, big, they're crossing, but they're doing it dry and they might just avoid this AWP walking into main. They seem to have the answer for every FaZe setup without knowing FaZe's setup. It's great. And they're about to wrap this orb. Brokey has no idea. Oh, he goes back, he checks to the right, and he's like, the hell, guys? Hello? Hello? BMAS, I thought you said you were holding ramp. Like, I don't get it. Nico comes out from hell, and he's trying to make a bit of a stand, but Zantares is going to best him. That nade will find Zantares, or Tabson, rather, actually, up in heaven. And we're into this three-on-three, -three, but it's a bit of an awkward one. You're going to try and split ramp room here if you're big. And Zantares continues his tear. While this has gone on, Tizian puts up yet another kill. And this leaves Rain in a 1v3. H hilariously, this is like the best chance that FaZe have maybe had at winning yeah. a round in this whole CT side yet, it feels like, outside of the one round that they have actually got to their name. Rain's going to give it a go. Zantares is already on the angle, fires off a couple of shots. He knows he's got Rain trapped here and he's just not giving the fight over. He's being such a nuisance. He's like teasing Rain. He's trying to encourage him to stick around and waste as much time as he can looking for a fight that just isn't going to present itself. And that gives Tizzy a lot of time to come in on that flank. 9-1 now for Big. And the, the problem's only just beginning for FaZe, it feels like. And once again, the money's in a bit of a rough spot here. So this is why this is working, right? Think about this, the Counter-Strike fans. When was the last time that you saw anyone walk, shift walk outside all the way through a flank? Big have been doing that constantly. They've been making no noise. FaZe, Brokey and Nico with a crossfire, they have no information, but they're relying on the fact that Big are going to run or Big are going to smoke or Big are going to flash. They don't do any of it. And so Big have just constantly been able to get behind FaZe. From the opening round of this game, it felt like, Harry, they were doing the same thing in the pistol. And, you know, while that got punished there, it had hasn't been since. This has just been so good from Big and FaZe. I, I, I wonder, I, you know, they, they surely now realize what the problems are in terms of outside control, but Big have just switched it up every single time. It's not like they're doing back-to-back -back same strats. Now they're going to crunch A. We haven't seen an A play for Big. It feels like all game, but they could drop them with that smoke. Triple set up for FaZe. Good response. They put everyone here to deal with them, and a man has dropped Vent to deny a B play. Cold doing a lot of damage through the smoke, and if Big commit A here, it could be a bloodbath, but not in their favor got a pick though so they can just chill relax wait see if phase give them any more i think b mass and brokey are looking to push ramp and they are going to do that they send these two in to try and push and process some info this is a dangerous little crossfire as well that gets set up right b mass gets that kill and now backs away and I think it honestly could be more deadly here to Big if he stays around. Because I think like they check this right-hand corner if they're not getting Ooh. fights. That's going to help. Tabson just deletes Nico through a smoke. Now, Searson is already low. Oh, and no. Brokey, there we go. Going to make quick work of him. With that kill, he's got the bomb. And a three-on-three. Three. Brokey's also been allowed to retrieve the orb. Phase, they might find something here. They might cheese around away. Brokey, another kill. Oh, looking for the third. And Tizian does get the kill. But 10 seconds. Surely there's just no time for Tizian. He runs in towards this site. But yeah, there's no time. He knows it. Phase, they will get that second round. The ramp aggression comes in at a perfect timing. Catch multiple kills from the position. Brokey gets the orb and the bomb under his control. And that round will slip through Big's fingers. Yeah, perfect bit of re-aggression here. I thought Brokey was dead in this fight against Sears when he close peeks him without the info. But yeah, really, really nice stuff from FaZe. It's always a danger, right? That that aggression from BMAS, if he dies there, it's going to be a 5-on-3 for Big and they can just sit back and hold and wait for Brokey too. So 
very important that FaZe actually get out on top of that engagement and turn the tide. Searson runs through a molly again. He just doesn't care, does he, Harry? Finding Nico, who has really been getting beaten up outside this game. He may be an 8 and 9, not exactly like a bad score for Nico, but it's the way that he's been dying. It's the way that FaZe, uh, big, sorry, have been dealing him death. And, oh, that's a nice shot from Cold Zero. As said on the desk coming into this game, the two players that have consistently been good for FaZe are Cold and Nico. Cold has certainly looked really, really strong in DreamHack so far. And, well, I say so far, this could be the end of the road for FaZe this series if they don't find a win. So, no better time to shine. Cold watching heaven. He's dealt with his position before. Got three in secret, though, for big. It's one lurk in heaven. Are they going to come up the vent after they get control? That's what I wonder. If, if Xantaris can get kills on that top site, that would be perfect. Alternatively, what they can do is open the doors on B, make a lot of noise. FaZe will begin to rotate off A, and Xantaris can backstab. And that seems like the game plan here. Oh, that's a grisly fight to not have go your way. And B-Master's position down here at the B-side couldn't be better. Tapson is dead and now looking for the follow-up. Keto will at least get the trade. Gives a two on three over. Searson is being very, very proactive in his hold here at the ramp, but he isn't able to find a man on the swing. He goes back and he nails it the second time around. There's a smoke on the bomb and that's going to cause Searson all kinds of problems. Tries to peek with a flash. He's inside the site and Cold Zera holding down the door. Defuse going to come on through for FaZe. They'll get this third round. Cold starting to come alive. And that's exactly what we needed to see for FaZe. We needed to have really just anyone, it felt like, stepping up in these rounds and being able to win these head-to-head -head duels. And it feels like Cold could be our man. Yeah, at least making this game competitive, but at what cost, right? At what scoreline? Big is still so far in the lead. This T-side is excellent, and we know that FaZe had trouble getting uh, you know, anywhere near as many rounds on their T-side when these guys last played. So if, you know, well, I say if Big get 10, a 9 will do at this point, but they're going to keep going. They're going to keep pounding the hammer as FaZe have another full buy. Orb out and Brokey again. Push towards a ramp, but with no support. Actually, he does. Sorry, BMAS is going to, once again, get in an aggressive position and take the spot that Brokey did last time. Again, a good setup for FaZe, because even if Brokey wants to rotate and go and assist elsewhere, he can just run on the on the retreat. He doesn't need to worry about getting flanked because of BMAS. Big, once again, look at this. Hiding behind red, denying outside info for FaZe. It's Nico coming up from secret. This time, he's got to be ready. This time, he has to be prepared for what lies behind red. But there's so many players. Ooh, Nico. Only good for one. B Master's coming in with this ramp aggression again, and this feels like it could be a bit of a solution to the big problem that is poised to phase. Centares continuing to be a bit of a menace on these lurks. I mean, I say that. Actually, the lurks really haven't been finding all too much from Centares at this point, and he's looking to deliver in this round. Searson gets into the site. Taps the bomb, but hasn't committed to the bomb plant. And so FaZe set up with three players here. If Big go back up into this A site, they would be walking into an empty A side oh, of the map. No. And Tarez, we haven't seen much from his flanks in these last few rounds, but this one could prove to be devastating. Oh, they're going to turn around. They're going to check for it. And Rain will get the trade, but Tabson comes on in and Brokey now trapped. Down here in the cubby, Miss Shaw does tap it down with the USP, not the follow up onto Searson. And we're into the 1v1. Cold's error on the other side. And he's been so good for FaZe in these last few rounds. Always good for the clutch is Cold. The door swings open, but Searson has dodged it. And Cold's missed his mark. Now trying to play around this time. And Cold wow. goes back in for the fight, and Searson's going to nail it. 10 on the board for Big. They reach double digits. It smiles all around in the uh, the big basement here. Just really nice reaction to Tapson's info there. Even though he only gets one, he does, you know, BMAS turns on him. Good good timing for BMAS, even though he dies. Cold gets a bit of damage off, or, or sorry, the close player gets a bit of damage off. But uh, yeah, Big just trade the kills instantly. Even with Brokey finding one from lower that the Big seemingly forgot about. They saw him earlier there when they tried to tap the plant. And well, Taps, uh, Tapson was just no scoping rather. So big one on two clutch for Big and 10 rounds to their name with FaZe on Rocky Road. Look at that money. It's just really not there, is it? Two M4s, a Deagle on Rain. 
not off with a gun that holds him back by any means, but right now it's the score that's holding FaZe back out of this matchup. Nico changing it up again, gone deep yard. Good damage with the Deeg. Centaurus is low. Nico should be able to finish the job, but he doesn't realize how deep Centaurus has gotten. Or maybe he does. Maybe he's hiding and playing this on a timing, but even so, Centaurus could beat him to the punch. He is so damn deep, and neither of them have any realization. Oh no. Oh dear. Nico, he, there it is. He's realized. Phew. But that's given away his position, and Big are surrounding him. They're so close to the spawn, and Nico has no support. <laughs> oh, this is horrible. Nico having a fall all the way back. Flash reigns in. Nico back at the forklift, and it's a good thing he's here because he's got to do some heavy lifting in this round. <laughs> Looking for these kills outside of big. They're just sneaking under. Look at them go. Oh, They're man. just sneaking under. They're just trying to get underneath the crosshair. And Nico hasn't been able to see anything yet from this position. Now he gets the information. Guys, oh. they're in help. It's Pearson nails the shot. And Tabson deals with BMAS at ramp phase. This is horrible, man. Big. They are just... They're in your nightmares, it feels like, man. Like, wherever you look, there's a player from big, and it's not where they should be. A three-on-four rain here with the Deagle does find damage, but not the killing blow to Tabson. Brokey with a Nova. There ever was a time for an unlikely highlight clip with an unlikely weapon. It's Brokey in this position. Cold maybe even can deal with this ramp or oh. he retrieves the M4 and that might be him now looking to save. Gets one, but Searson comes in with the trade. Brokey. Come on, man. Tabson's got an M3 kills in the round for Tabson and 11 on the board for Big. Nuke isn't a map where you can just plug and play, right? Where you can just slot a player in. So it's firstly difficult to, to get BMAS into the system here as a new player, but they put him in the best position, which is ramp, right? Ramp's very easy uh, from a, from an outlooker perspective. You can just play for one or two fights. You can drop very quickly. You can feed info. But BMAS has died more times to hell than he has to the re main ramp entrance. This is really rough. Like, uh, bigger play the most unorthodox key side of this map. And oh, it's just getting worse or better, depending how you look at it. And right now for FaZe, they are not feeling all too fa uh, fancy. I don't know, man. This is just excellent for big. Five and one, closing the half, looking for that 12-3. And BMAS, man, there's no way he's going to be able to stop this. He's that big FaZe game that you've all been waiting for. And right now, it's uh, it's a pretty tall order if FaZe want to get back in up against these big boys on the other side. 12-3 in favor of the German slash Turkish squad here. Well... Faze, I don't know. Can they get back into this? It would be an impressive feat if they do, but this pistol round has not gotten off to a swimming start. And originally the plan was to back off and give up ramp, but then they're like, actually, you know what? Centaurus, go for it, man. You're off the leash, get in there, get stuck in. He gets himself another kill. He does go down, which has given up ramp to Faze and might lead to a B plant here as they rush into this bomb site. Tabson is already here on rotation and he's just gonna wait. Oh, that's perfect. Doesn't expect a second, though. BMAS trades, and now he's got a chance to do something magical. Door open, but it's all a ruse. Double pistols for Keto. He's got dual, dual Berettas, rather. BMAS, nice try, but he can't hit the shot, and Keto will swing off of the noise. Big with 13. Oh, dear, Harry. If their T-side wasn't good enough, well, they found a CT pistol. That might just push them over the line. And, well, there's not much room left for FaZe in this map. Thank goodness we have Mirage coming up after this one because that's FaZe's pick. That's a map that FaZe will look really good on. And even though it's one big can play, I think it's going to be a little bit closer than this. Or at least I hope so. Full eco for FaZe in the 17th. They're give, going to give away 14 for big before they try their first hand at a rifle round. I like to call for FaZe. But... It's not exactly going to save them in this series. I think at this point, in the back of FaZe's mind is that this map is already done. And well, that first rifle round, losing it will only cement your view. So really, anything they can do here, any damage they can find, any util they can waste from big could help in the long run. They got Brokey doing laps, man. That's his, uh, that's his trading up on top of the silo. I'm gonna try and push outside. If 
felt like Taps had saw something on that jump peak. Because suddenly, you know, hairs on his back of his neck are up and he's all ready to take this gunfight. Now, he does get dinked uh, by, I think that was B-Mass's Deagle, bringing him down to seven points of health. Y you hate to see a Deagle dink, and because it's too far, it doesn't get the kill. Like, nothing saddens me more. Yeah. He can get the information that they're crossing, and he's going to swing and just take one away. Keto's going to try and hold this down, and there might be a smoke in the way. That's not going to oh, stop no. him from sending Phase Clan packing. He actually goes through the smoke, and CS is pushing the upper side as well. BMAS, well, he does get that one kill. Surely this is it for him. Searson taking the fight down the uh, the stairs. He doesn't want to fall prey to the Deeg, and so he doesn't. He just actually uh, gets the kill himself. 14 on the board for Big, an investment for FaZe. But this could be their only T-side rifle round in this game if it yeah. doesn't go their way. And they gave Searson a flurry of MP9 kills. Oh, look, wonder what he's going to have in this round, Harry. $6,000, well, you know... No prize for guessing his investment. The AWP is coming out for big. And in the first and maybe last rifle round of this T side for FaZe. Dear, oh dear, not a pretty picture. Double SMGs though, so there's always that. FaZe with a superior weaponry mostly. But what's the game plan? What's the go-to here? They're going to hold, they're going to set up. And I think it's a good call for FaZe. It, it's, it's a problem because, it, you know, if, if big win any early fight, whatever FaZe's T side is, they never get to do it. But... You know, the benefit of this is FaZe get to hold early. They get to see if Big want to throw any spanners in the works, want to push lobby or crunch an area, take map control. And once a FaZe have, are confident that Big have settled into a, a passive default, which they have, well, FaZe can make up their mind. It looks like a ramp split with some outside control. I might fall off of ramp because they have to bomb in lobby. Searson's in secret with the AWP as well. He's yet to be spotted holding the stairwell. So once FaZe go outside with this utility, Searson is going to be able to find multiple kills. But not if there's not multiple players. Oh, sorry, FaZe. You guys were setting up to take A? That's cute. We've smoked the door, so you got to go through the hub. Tizian's trying to hold it down with the MP9, and he does get one. That's really all you could have asked for in there. Nico pincering in. From outside is dropped Tabsons and Tarez and Searson left in this two on three. And do they want to go for this? I'm not so sure, right? Because uh, while, while this was an attempt at the bonus round from the rest of the gang, these two have put a lot of money into this round. And they've decided that it might just be better off saving. As well as that, you don't want to put an AWP for free in the hands of FaZe. That's a luxury that they're not going to have for a good while. And so you kind of want to keep them in that spot. You know, if you start giving FaZe the tools to work with, that's where they can look to dismantle you. However, they aren't going to do that. And they look to hold on to this into the follow-up round. Obviously, with the other three attempting this bonus, they're, they're going to have cash regardless. So there's still a buy round coming in for big. Phase, they'll get themselves a fourth though on the back of that A play, and that first rifle round goes their way. So that little danger of this being the only rifle round for Phase is out the window. We at least get to see a little bit more from this Phase T side. Yeah, nice little fake from Phase. I actually thought it was it was you know not going to work. I thought the big were ready for it, and big knew exactly what was going on. And the reason because of that is Searson, right? Phase throw those default outside smokes, but Searson's peeking secret. He sees nothing. He sees nothing red, and so big. They have three on the A site. They have a stack. They're ready, but it's the weaponry the holds them back no one gets any multi kills for big and well they don't even trade so yeah phase win the round off the back of those entries but like that's not something that will that, that phase can consistently run not only because of CSN's position that phase actually never knew about by the way but also because when big eventually have full rifle rounds and have guns on everyone not mp9s they should be able to hold a top site hit like that like big knew what was going on you saw you said it yourself they threw the door smoke right as phase set up so yeah, it's a nice round and phase they should be able to build on it here this is a great chance to get back into this game for the short term look at the money of big they're relying on the two saved weapons with eco on the rest taps and hiding in the outside smokes but again it's all but a ruse for phase searson has left spawn and gone towards the hell position and FaZe i will is say it once again to crunch a tizian has got the uh, auto shotgun and that might make all the difference here, Hugo. He takes down the first man. Let's see what he can do. He's traded it out onto the AK. 
And he's looking for a little bit more from the hut. They're checking him. But oh, Tizian with the blind spray down and phase. Their journey might come to a close sooner than they expected here on Nuke. 15 on the board for Big. The auto shotgun takes the first man down, trades out onto the AK and goes on to do all the yeah. damage for Big. Well, what I just said was FaZe, they can't get away with that again. And so FaZe, they do the exact same strategy again. Different utility a little bit this time, but like by and large, the same idea. They lay outside smokes with an A crunch. And Big, they just don't even play outside, Harry. They put the AWP in heaven. They had, once again, three on the site. So FaZe walk once more into a stack. This time, even less weaponry for Big. But maybe it was the, uh, the high-pitched auto shotgun that really got it going for Big. A round away from removing FaZe from this map. But Nico's D, oh dear, it misses. Hyping it up for a shot that never hits. And FaZe, that's been this entire game, it feels like. Oh, Tabson, he's looking to make matters worse. We've not really seen much outside control for Big in this game, but not on the CT side, at least. Tabson's here. Tabson's further back with the AWP as well to cover the cross to red. So Tabson at least has information as to what FaZe are doing. Flash out, Tabson going to go with it into the AWP, but Brokey is blinded. T Tabson shoots him, but nothing significant. And FaZe going to begin to push. Gertz by into main and could find Searson here, but a quick flick back into the garage, and that is him dealt with. Rain's found through the smoke, and things are about to go from bad to worse here for FaZe. Tizian spraying, praying, and shuts down another. BMAS does come out and get a kill. It's him and Brokey left in this two on three now, as they are finding kills. These two together have looked great. However, they lose Brokey outside with it. The bomb goes the way of Big. And BMAS now is left in a very tricky scenario. This 1v3, he's being given a 1v1, but he 